last year. Didn't yeah, you? this is my third time in a row. You're always looking around here. Oh, no. oh, you make me sound so welcome. I'm like a piece of litter that's just blown around in the wind machine. Are you here to provide some more light entertainment or, or what? Well, the thing is, it's a really hard gig because you turn up, I mean, no one's listening to you, everyone's off their face, and then you try and say something funny and just get, you're not Lady Gaga. <laughs> So you, might, you might as well stay at home. No, but no, I, I enjoy just the, the buzz of it and like rubbing shoulders with like Kylie and Robbie Williams. And I was so hammered last time. You know when you're talking to someone and a bit of spit comes out? I was talking to Kylie and it went on her outfit. <laughs> and I was drunk. I was like, well, I loved you. But I'm like, and she yeah. spotted it and I Say spotted it. 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 And I know, I know, came here for a laugh, not a bath. <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah, there was an awful moment where you're like, oh. <laughs> Have you met Robbie Williams yet? Because he's already passed through here. You're going to go in a... Well, when I, did the, when I did the warm-up for Jonathan from Ross, this is before I was on the telly, Robbie had seen me do stand-up somewhere. Bloody comes up and says, oh, have you got a DVD out? And I was like, Robbie, you know, I was like, Robbie Williams. Man, I'm still a little bit in awe of him now, you know what I mean? But, oh, my God. So, yeah, he's been a bit of a fan. It's amazing to know. He's, he's receiving... Oh, but James Corden gets invited to his <laughs> Hollywood home. Not me. <laughs>